Hey everyone, in today's video I'll teach you guys how to paint a watercolor landscape in easy steps. We're going to cover how to paint mountains, forests, and a lake. All the materials that I am using are in the end of my description box. Before I get into the tutorial, I just want to announce that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where you can find more than 25,000 classes in categories like design, business, and also art. You can find many watercolor, acrylic, and oil painting classes that you can learn from. Now the very unique thing about Skillshare is that the class is broken down in little steps. This presents the student with a very easy and nice learning structure. I personally use Skillshare to learn about watercolor techniques, for example, controlling the transparencies in watercolor. And I also watch beginner courses on Photoshop because I want to get better at editing the photos I take for my Etsy shop and my Instagram posts. The first 500 of my subscribers to use the link in the description will get a 2 month free trial. This is a very good chance to check out Skillshare and watch all the classes for free. I'm sure you will definitely find some very good art classes. Also, if you join Skillshare through this link, you're eligible to enter my giveaway for Amaral Handmade Watercolors. So the first step is to make a line horizontally, which is for the lake. Then you make the lines vertically on the top. These represent the trees. Also, don't forget to make three small mountain outlines on the top. Make small strokes on the right side of the mountain. Try leaving some space between each strokes. This gives an effect of having snow on the mountain. For the left side of the mountain, repeat the steps by using a darker shade. So if you're using black, use less water so that your black is not transparent and light. Repeat the same steps for the rest of the two mountains. Don't worry too much about perfectly blending the mountains at the bottom. The trees will cover this part up. Now for the trees, start off by making vertical lines. Now make small dots on the line and as you go in the middle, put more pressure on your brush and make tiny dash-like strokes. Repeat these steps for the rest of the trees. Make sure your brush doesn't have too much water for this part. To get the smooth water effect, it is important to have the brush more on the drier side. Take more green or mix it with a little bit of black and work on making the edges darker.
Here's an idea of how dry I'm keeping the brush. This time I will use black for the last layer of reflection. This technique works really good with square brushes, so if you have one, I really recommend you to try this part with it. Now make a few vertical strokes which will give the impression of trees reflecting on the water. I'm using our handmade Mika watercolors to give a magical touch to the water. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video.